and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a goat milk soap using this fragrance here. It's chocolate lavender from Wholesale Supply Plus and I, I think this is one of my all-time favorite fragrances like ever. I love this fragrance and I am not a huge lavender fan but this one hits it for me. It's so good uh, and I did do this I've used this fragrance before it behaves beautifully it discolors to a light tan um, there is a little vanillin in here but not much it's just great so chocolate lavender for the chocolate color I want to use this uh, gingerbread brown mica which is you know pretty chocolatey looking and then for the lavender I haven't decided a hundred percent I'm definitely going to use this lavender mica from Brambleberry but I may add a little of this orchid purple in there just to bump up this is a little darker I'm not sure I may just go straight lavender but we'll play with it and see so I may add this or I may not so pretty anyway uh, and then for the plan is I just want to do sort of a hanger swirl on the inside and I'm going to get my piping bags out and I want to pipe some just some big rosette type flowers with the lavender and do little chocolate kisses on top sort of to represent the lavender and the chocolate theme so that's the plan I'm going to get everything pulled together and get my goat milk lye solution prepped get my hair pulled back and let's make some yummy beautiful chocolate and lavender goat milk soap. I've got all of my oils and butters melted and prepped here and to my oils I have organic colloidal oats, kale and clay, and the fragrance and that's what's in my oils here. I also have my piping bags ready to go. There's my little open tip to do my kisses and here's my star for my flowers. So set those off to the side. Um, let's see and I'm just going to be hand stirring this to emulsion and then uh, we'll mix it as we need after that. So here's my goat milk lye solution, um, which I put a couple of ounces of distilled water and dissolve some cane sugar. And then I add the goat milk, it's frozen with the silk and it does get hot enough to melt the silk. So that's what's in here. And um, I put in about a half a teaspoon of titanium dioxide in here to keep it on the lighter side. Since this fragrance does discolor to a light tan, it's not a bad discoloration, but I just really wanted the colors to stand out, so that's what's going on there. And um, one of the reasons why I run my goat milk through a sieve here is, um, one of the reasons is because I get impatient, I add my lye too fast, so I sometimes I can get little scorched bits and that's no big deal but the other reason is uh, this is raw farm fresh goat milk and it does have butter fats in it and some of those little butter fats can actually saponify in the lye water so it's just little you know bits in there so I don't want any chunks in my soap so I like to run it through here all right Let's get this stirred up and I just like to put my hand over the spout because it's so full I don't want anything splashing out of here. This chocolate lavender is it's kind of mellow it's not a very it's not like super in your face it's strong it's just mellow and yummy. <laughs> it's fabulous I think it's fabulous. All right looks like we've got emulsion here so let's get our colors over here and I'm gonna pour enough to have for swirling and for piping
right, it's the next day. It's been about 24 hours, so let's get our wonderful chocolate lavender out of the mold here. And I did steam the top, so it's got a little bit of shine on there. All right, let's get into these. They smell really good today. <laughs> so it's always yummy. That's a pretty swirl. And I like how the little kisses came out on top. Last time I used a smaller tip and they just look like dollops. These actually look like little Hershey kisses. So that's cool. 